First at noon, in just a couple of hours, Pope Francis will be landing in Cuba for an historic visit. There, the Pope will hold a meeting with the head of the Russian Orthodox Church. CBS 4's Elliot Rodriguez is live in Havana ahead of the Pope's arrival. Elliot, good afternoon. Well, good afternoon, Lauren and Walter from Havana. Pope Francis is making his second visit to Cuba in the last six months. Of course, the Pope was here last year for that historic visit, and now he's making another one, but this is going to be a short one, only a few hours, but he will be making history again. This time, he'll be meeting with the leader of the Russian Orthodox Church. Now, this is a historic meeting. It's never happened between the leaders of two of the biggest religious groups in the world, and this meeting does have international ramifications, not only for the Vatican, for Russia, and also for Cuba which is in the spotlight, as I mentioned once again. We've got some video of the Pope as he left the Vatican early this morning. He's expected to arrive here in Havana at 2 o'clock, and he'll be greeted by Raul Castro at the airport. The Pope will meet with Castro and with Patriarch Kirill, the leader of the Russian Orthodox Church. That meeting will also take place at the airport. He'll then meet privately with Patriarch Kirill, and the two religious leaders will sign a joint declaration. It's the first meeting ever between a Pope and Russian Orthodox leader. The Orth Russian Orthodox Church is closely aligned with the Russian government, and this is seen as a breakthrough in improving relations between the Vatican and the government of Vladimir Putin. The Russian Patriarch is already here in Cuba and has met with uh, Cuban leader Raul Castro. Cuba has was chosen for this meeting, uh, many uh, uh, observers are saying, because it is seen as neutral territory. And Raul Castro paid, played a key role in facilitating the meeting. Now, the state-run meeting Media here in Cuba is lauding the Cuban government for its role in brokering this deal, as well as brokering a peace accord between, or trying to broker, I should say, a peace accord between the Colombian government and the FARC military group. That's a civil war that has been going on for decades, and Cuba has been a player trying to bring those two sides together. Of course, the government of Raul Castro with the new relations with the government of Barack Obama with the United States, and there's been a lot of talk here that possibly President Obama will visit Cuba before he leaves the White House. So this is putting um, not just Cuba in the spotlight, but Raul Castro as an international player, and that's how this story is being played here in Cuba. So again, Pope Francis is expected to arrive in Havana at 2 o'clock this afternoon. We'll be there for his arrival and have complete coverage on CBS 4 News at 5 and 6. Walter and Lauren, back to you. All right, Elliot, is there as much excitement among the people of Cuba this time around as compared to last September? No, I would say that uh, last September with the visit of the Pope and uh, you know, the time that he spent here and going to different parts of the country, this time it is a few hours and he's not going to leave the airport. Uh, he's going to have this meeting with the Russian patriarch at the airport. Raul Castro will be at the airport. The announcement will be made at the airport and then the Pope will move on to his uh, trip that was already planned to Mexico and parts of South America. But the Cubans that I've talked to here on the street feel a sense of pride that Cuba has been chosen for this historic meeting. But of course, they are dealing with their economic situation, which is not an easy one. And with the uh, change in relations between the United States and Cuba, there is hope that that will change. But that hasn't trickled down to the average Cuban. I'll have more on that during my reports while I'm here in Havana. Back to you. All right, Elliot Rodriguez live from Havana, Cuba this afternoon. We will see him again a little later.